Hey, what's going on everybody? Sui here, back with another BO4 video. Today we're talking about the new operation coming out July 9th. It's titled Operation Apocalypse Said. So, we're going to discuss all the info we need to know to prepare accordingly for it. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as 93% of you guys aren't subscribed. If you'd like to know the best tips and tricks, class setups, all info for future operations, including BO4 and other Modern Warfare 4 content, hit that sub button. Now, Operation Apocalypse Said is coming this Tuesday for PS4. For Xbox players, it comes out next Tuesday. If you've played Blackout recently, you'll know that they've removed Alcatraz. That's because they're bringing it back on Tuesday with a new dark twist. Which I'm kind of worried and excited for, I really hope it isn't Brutus as a special zombie. Um, I already hate the zombies aspect as it is, and I think it'll just make it worse, but hopefully it's balanced well. For Blackout, there isn't much known in terms of new game modes or map updates. Hopefully we'll find that pretty soon. The reason I think there isn't too much Blackout info is probably because the zombies is the main focus. Since Alpha Omega, the new map, it seems to be a pretty big deal. Which is honestly pretty good because Zombies always gets the least amount of focus or attention. For multiplayer, we only know one of the maps so far, which is Havana from Black Ops 1. I think we'll go to a second map as well, which will probably be a new map. I don't mind this pattern of one new map and one remaster, I just wish that the new maps were actually good. The reason we know it's Havana is because Treyarch's new outfit today teased the Six and Stones game mode. Which by the way, yes, Six and Stones is finally coming back. And in the background, you can see Havana. Another teaser we got from a trick Avi is the return of Reaper. If you don't know, Reaper is a robotic specialist from Black Ops 3 whose ability was Psychosis, which allows you to have three fake versions of yourself, and his weapon was the Scythe, which is this automatic gun built into his hand. And it was a lot of fun to use, honestly. Let me know in the comments what you think is coming back from his BO3 version, because specialists being brought back doesn't mean it'll be the exact same, like the Outrider. There's also going to be four new weapons. Now, I can't put them on stream because of copyright and other Activision stuff, but I'll link a photo in the comments. These weapons were found in in-game files, and they include the Argus shotgun from Black Ops 4, which is a lever action shotgun, which will probably, which will probably be super deadly if you aim down sights. The M16, a 3-round burst assault rifle, which by the way has high caliber 1 and 2, so I guarantee it'll melt like a swordfish, if not better. The back handler, which is a melee weapon and is a dead zombie's hand. Kind of like the BO3 mannequin hand, if you guys remember that. And lastly, the Hav Havilina AA50, uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, I'll put it up on the screen real quick, the, the file name. Um, which is a semi-auto sniper that that is a one-shot to the chest and head. Let me know what's up in your most excited for the comments. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video, and have a great rest of your day, and see you in the next video.